let's tie this up in a neat bow. I'm going to finish this question, point out a tricky thing about question three that we didn't have a look at before, and then I'm going to give you some time to flex your muscles on exercise one day. Okay? Man, I used to be able to say the number one and the letter D together and keep a straight face, but I can't anymore. Stupid boy bands. Anyway, so let's have a look at this. You can see I have already factorized, and hopefully you identified um, that quadratic factorization in both cases. Do you agree? Does that look okay? Yep. Now you might notice as well, I've added this obscene extra amount of space and I'm holding a different color in my hand because what I'm about to do is to get that common denominator and write this in a way that just makes it easier for my brain. Okay. So I can see I already have this common factor on both denominators, x minus 2. So I don't need to multiply this guy by x minus 2 because of this. I already have it. Right. What do I need? What is the missing term that's going to be multiplied on the top and the bottom? Yeah. X minus, one to there. X minus 1 over here, X plus two to there. and X plus 2 over here. Okay, I hope this looks clear to you and the extra color just highlights what's going on. Now that I've got this, I can say this guy is going to be 3X minus 3. Watch out because this minus sign is going to affect both of the terms up here. Right? So when you go ahead and you expand that numerator, the minus sign is going to attach to that plus 4 just like it attaches to the 2x. Okay. Did anyone expand the denominator? No. no, because at the moment like we, we, ex we factorized so that we could put these together but then there's nothing that tells us that indicates one way or the other oh it might be helpful now to, to expand or it might be helpful now to factorize. It's kind of done its job. So I can leave it down there as it is. Okay. Uh, once you take care of the top, that becomes minus 2x minus 4. Collect your light terms. How many x terms are left on the top? Just a single x? Minus 7. Minus 7. Thank you very much. And then all of this is left hanging out there. All right. Now, just one last postscript. And it's a bit of a pedantic point, which is why I didn't mention it earlier. But just put your pens down. Um, and I want to draw your attention to something a bit weird and it doesn't really, you don't have to worry about it in this context, but you will have to worry about it in the future, especially as we go into this next topic called functions. Okay. Um, have a look at what I've written. Okay. Uh, I wrote here, this is the question I started with, and then I wrote a series of equal signs, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever number, which is to say, okay, I'm going to say that this thing is the same as this object I finished with, like so. Okay, and every line was equal and you all followed along with me. We even tried it a different way and everything was fine. Okay? Now, this is mostly okay, except sometimes with particular values you can break things down. You can make things stop working. For example, have a look at this last expression, the last one I've written down. Can you tell me, because x can be equal to anything, right? When x is equal to 0, what is this expression, the whole thing? What's it equal to? When x equals 0, when I put in, if I were to substitute x equals 0 into here, what would you end up with as the answer? You'd end up with 1, right? 1 divided by 0 plus 1, right? That gives you 1, yeah? Now look at the original expression that we wrote, the one right at the top left-hand corner. If you put in x equals 0 into this guy, what would you get? Now, you can go to your calculator and try this out. In fact, you can put all the fractions in and all that kind of thing. But you don't even need to, right? From the first thing that you write on the numerator, what's going to happen when your calculator tries to do 1 divided by 0? It's going to say, math error. It's going to say, forget it. You're an idiot. You don't know how to use me. You're not supposed to divide by 0. You're going to like end the universe, OK? We can't divide by 0. If you're interested into why, we can follow down that rabbit hole another time. But my point is that putting x equals 0 into this first thing, it just kind of explodes. But then you put it into this, and it seems to work fine. Okay? Now, the reason why is because we basically did this. right? Uh, it, we didn't say it explicitly in here, but we wrote it in there. Right? That's when we multiply by x on x. Now, if x were equal to 0, Sorry, let me start again. If x were equal to any old number, like 1 or 3 or 4, this would be 4 on 4 or 3 on 3. Everything would be fine. But if x were 0, that's a big no-no. You can't do that, right? You can't just say, I'd like to multiply by x on x, because it shouldn't change things, right? This guy, um, yeah, this guy messes around with us, right? We're not meant to do that. And so what we're actually doing here 
is we're ever so slightly changing the question, right? What we started with, you weren't allowed to put x equals zero in there. This, this has a name, we call it, there's a restriction on this. X can be almost anything you like. Just, just don't do this, okay? Now, when you get through all of this simplification, or you just do this, right? You end up with something out the end. But this guy, if you want it to really be the same as what you started with, you have to say, hey, by the way, it's not obvious. It doesn't look obvious from this at all. Like you should, it looks like you can put zero into that, but you can't, because this is where we came from, okay? So I'm just gonna put that caution there, and I'd love you to just jot it down. At the moment, like I said, you won't really have to worry, like the answers to your um, questions, will, the solutions will not ever say, hey, by the way, say this. But this will become really important. It'll, you'll see why I made such a big deal about it now when we start to deal with these guys and, and start to graph them, okay?